Hello and welcome to Ballin Craig Estate. My name is Eddie and this is my vlog. Today is October the 23rd and uh, and yeah, things are coming along nicely. We have now ploughed uh, this field, so this is ready for us to plant crops in. Um, and as you can see, we're going to be doing some muck spraying today. Uh, we're going to be spreading uh, up on this field here. So we're going to put this down to grass. Uh, in the next few days, but we need to get some um, uh, We need to get some fertilizer on it. So we're gonna use the cow manure for that So to do that we need to load it up first and for that we have our little masses. So without further ado Let's get to it Start at the massy. I think we need to pick up our Yeah, there we go pick up our weight and let's get shoveling some cow manure. It'll take about... I think this takes about uh, somewhere between 8 and 10 of these. Uh, this abbey. So hopefully we can get it filled quite quickly. And then that's quite a good reach. I like using uh, whatever manure we have... Or whatever fertilizer we have kicking around the farm, sorry. Right. Think that's doing it. There we go. It's Ah, oh, it can be a little bit tricky because the um in all honesty, our, uh, <laughs> our little massy here isn't quite tall enough to fill the abbey. So what we end up doing is sometimes we spill a little bit on the ground, but that's all alright. Get this filled as quickly as we can. And that will then mean we might be able to fit a little bit more on that. There we go. Right up. There we are. It's still uh, quite tight around here. Even having cleared out some of the old um, equipment uh, and old stuff that we no longer need. Right. Just back off a little bit. There we go. There we go. In it goes. Ah, so much manure. That's good. This is uh, this is some nice free fertilizer, which is always a good thing. On the farm. There we are. Perfect. All round. And round. Considering it a bigger manure fork. But then it's a small tractor, so I don't really want to. There we are. In it goes. Yeah, it's not quite full at this point. I begin to see the muck. Quite. Uh, this is a side launching. Um, Side spreading flail uh, spreader. Quite useful for us here. Yeah. We don't tend to go to. Uh, we don't tend to need too much on here, but of course we are expanding the farm, so it's possible 
that's uh right. Burp. There we go. Almost there. You can see it piling out of it now. It's not a very big field we've got to do, so we can always use this on uh, on one of our ploughed fields. Uh, we, we then need to cultivate it in, and we do already have some um, fertilizer on our plough fields. They are all already fertilized, so it's not a huge problem. There we go. It's more the maneuvering that I have to do to get around to build this. There's no easy way to park it. There we are, we're full, I think. I don't know, maybe not. There we go. As long as we're not putting a big pile on the floor, I don't mind so much. So when I waste it by just piling on the floor and, uh, yeah. There we go. Very nice. Cool. I kind of want to put this at the back. I think. We've got a lot of it at the front. We need to sort of more evenly distribute it. No, oh, and we're full. There we go, we are, we're full. Dropping a little bit on the ground. Right, so we'll leave that on here. We'll um, we'll come and put that back on the pile in a bit. But yeah, nice amount of um, muck in there. So we'll get going in our T-dub. <coughs> and get it going. The one advantage of having our new road is we can get right up to the side here with our first run. Right. And on, and away we go. Absolutely perfect. Let's keep doing this until we run out. What we'll have to do is, once we've gone round the outside of the field, we'll have to sort of go round the other way. This T dub is perfect for this job. We can again cultivate this next time. We'll cultivate. We'll give it. We'll give this a, a couple of days, and then we'll, we'll cultivate it. In. Probably once we've. Um, I think we need to plant. We need to plant our winter wheat. Is what we need to do. And we got. Um, I think I said last time I was probably going to do that in two fields, and that's the two over this side. So I think we'll, we'll get that planted. And that will do a good job for that. So what we'll do is we'll get down to the uh, start, or to the, the gateway. And then there, we'll come back. And we will um, uh, we'll go the other way around the field. Uh, 
because that will be our best way of uh, covering the bit that we're missing because of where we're driving at the moment. Right, so turn that off. And we'll turn around. Good. Very good. Let's see on the ground where we've uh, where we've been. It'll be about here, I think. Now we need to move our mower, ideally. Good hunker manure just flying out. Doing as well. Oh, there we go. Right, we're out of manure. We need to remind, remember where we are. Go and collect some more. <coughs> So that's basically uh, what we just need to keep doing, and that's why we've left the manure on the uh, on there. Right. So easiest place to turn around is around here. Burst it up. Oh, very tight. But that's that's why we uh, removed some of the equipment that was that was really quite old. It allows us to get around the yard far easier. The thing is, when this this yard was originally built, oh, we want to move back slightly. Of course, um, vehicles and uh, and tractors and things were much smaller. I mean, you know, you you would be using uh, something like this Massey. Would be uh, would be very much more of a larger tractor on the farm. Now that we have the the T Dub and the 78, uh, 7810, you know it's a much more different uh, story these days. There you go. You know, you, uh, you now have much bigger machinery. Which is why one of the first things I did uh, was get the barn door enlarged so that we could fit the 7810 into it. Uh, why we've expanded the farm out to the side because we need you need more equipment. Even even you know with the focus of this farm being uh, the cows and the milk, you still need the extra equipment and things these days. So it's yeah, very much it's all geared towards getting the farm to be more efficient and, and earn more money. We'll never forget the never forget the cows, but diversification is, is always a good thing. There we go. That's it. Oh, my grand my grandfather was green, you know, he, he basically he had to sell off most of of the farm, most of the estate, simply because it wasn't making the money anymore. And sold up all these grass fields around around the farm to make sure that that he could keep the farm. What I'm hoping is uh, is this diversification will allow me to to buy it back. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. It's coming on along nicely. We are we are making money, which is a good thing. And next year, I think we will make more money. And uh, and diversify a bit more. Maybe get a few more grass fields and things. 
I'm, to, I'm in talks actually with um, a, uh, a power company who uh, are quite interested in maybe getting some sort of small power station or something uh, to to do the village. And if that's the case, then uh, then they want to power it off our silage. So there is that. That may be something that, that comes in in the new year. Which would be great because, you know, I can then invest in new stuff. And, uh, and get silage going and silage going as a as something that we can uh, we can use uh, and sell and uh, and then yeah we cut more grass and and collect it and put it into our silage uh, which is where our bales are at the moment is, is a silage pit that we don't actually use for making silage so we could we could do that that would be a good way forward. But yeah, we need the we need the local facilities really to take full advantage of that. At the moment, I could fill that silage pit up, and it would uh, and it would do us for years. Uh, speaking of which, we are going to be doing field uh, field ten, which is our our field that our new road goes up to. Uh, we've left it to grow all year. And I'm hoping that means we're going to get a good yield off it. So, yeah, hoping so. I think it'll be... Uh, could be worth a lot to us, that field. Uh, but we're going to do hay bales off it. It's not going to be silage. It's going to be hay for the cows for the winter. And the sheep for the winter, of course. I saw a rogue bale somewhere earlier. I need to go and pick up. Yeah, I think we're going to end up using all this manure on one field, which doesn't surprise me. We tend to be able to, we tend to have enough manure to do one field. Uh, and of course, so far, we've only ever had one arable field. A little bit more. Right. Cows are all happy and healthy, which is good to see. to sweep up this, uh, this manure at some point. There we go. In we are. Not a huge amount left, I think. Yeah. We basically cover as much field as we can with this. And if there is a little bit more that needs doing, then we can do it. The other thing I'm looking at doing is possibly investing in some more cows. You know, this is after all the dairy farm. Yeah, there we go. Go down and off. And away we go. Right, so we were just coming up to the peak of the hill. We should be able to see the area where we've uh, where we've not got any.
Yeah, up to about here. Right. So then, head down the side here. Gonna be far enough out to, to be doing a different area to where we did before. Like so. Preparing this like this now will be great for when we plant the grass in here. Really well. Absolutely perfect. Slightly further out, actually. One more load of this, I think will probably get us done on the field. That'd be good. It's actually going quite far. I'm quite pleased with that. it up. And head up here. There we go. Nice, very nice. I'm happy with that. That's, uh, that's a good coverage there. Right, uh, this bit is out here. Like so, wow, mucky, spreading muck. Always good fun. Always absolutely perfect way to uh, to increase the yield. Works really, really well. And this little T dub is, is yeah is running this very nicely. Very, very nicely. This is where you do the tight turn to get round. Oh, 
And we're out. So one last fill up. Uh, which is probably... I, I don't know if we'll make it back to the field. Because of course it does take us five minutes or so to fill up. But maybe we'll see how we go. It would be nice to get this all done. Right, so pull down here. We'll stick to the side. Getting that to turn that corner before we even get out of here. It's all very tight. There we go. That's through that gateway, like so. Forward here. Into our Massey. So yeah, this is, uh, this has worked well. Muck spreading. There we go. Uh, so next time, yeah, I think we will probably be doing uh, some planting. We need to get uh, the winter wheat in. And we need to get the... Uh, Radish in as well. Uh, because the winter crops. Well, that's the thing. I'm, I'm of two minds of what to do where. I think we might put. Uh, yeah, I think we might put the winter crops in on our two fields up here. Up by the farm. Uh, so the winter wheat in there. And I think we're going to probably plant canola in the other one. Uh, but of course we can't do that until the springtime so we're going to put radish in that will increase the yield which with canola is fantastic because canola is worth a lot of money anyway so we're going to uh, yeah increase the yield on that and uh, and hopefully that will then bring us in more money and then we can buy some more grass fields next year expand the farm more and it will be uh, yeah It'll be fantastic. And lots of money. Buy back the farm. And uh, and restore Balin Craig Estate to where it once was. Absolutely is my long term plan. And doing what we need to do to do that. So, right, one more, I think, should do us, and we'll go and empty this out. Go and spread it on the field. Oh, turned a bit early. There we go. Oh, going to have to buff that out. Yeah, more cows will allow us to uh, to get more manure and things. So we're going to, I think we'll look into getting some more. Especially when we do our, uh, we'll do some sales of the the bulls born this year and uh, and our and, and some lamb sales coming into uh, winter over winter. So uh, yeah, it's not a huge amount, but it's enough to bring a little bit extra money. 
Right, there we go. That's a nice full trailer. That's not going to take much more. Right. I'll turn this off. Turn this on. We're going to do our last bit of spreading. And then that will be this job done. I think we're... Yeah, I can see the muck there. But not here. Right. So I think we want to be... Ah, you can, I can see my tracks, actually. Yeah. There we go. Let's start it off. Ah. Nothing like a nice bit of spreading a muck in the morning. Very cool. Very nice. Good a coverage as we can. I just yeah. Oh, that's a lovely smell. That really is. <laughs> Do it this time of year because it tends to rain a bit, and uh, and that means that it dampens the smell. I know some farmers who do it as soon as they've harvested. Uh, always get complaints. Always get phone calls going. Why? Why are you making it smell so bad? If you do that in the baking hot sunshine, uh, yeah, you're very much going to get those kinds of complaints. I tend to get on fairly well with uh, the villagers, so unless we have a particularly hot October, we don't tend to have an issue normally. much to go. Right, this should do it. Yeah, no, that will do it. I can see it's done. So there we go. That is the muck spreading done. I'll turn the tractor off quickly. And uh, and that's where I'm going to leave today's vlog. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.